Best Friends 1, Cybernetic Bulk 1, Component Buffet. Welcome back guys to another video. Uh, today we are on the Champion Delivery Portal. Uh, not a very fancy start to the game. And I'll probably just take Component Buffet here. I'll clear this out. And see where we can go. I don't think I can ever win streak from this position. So I'm just gonna make 10. Early on, this will allow us to make 50 by the end of stage 2. Um, we'll pop this later on, and for now, we just play these units. Um, it's absolutely fine. There's nothing specific I could play. I mean, I could play a Teemo, I guess, but then I would have to sell my pairs, which I don't want to. I probably should have played Jax over Garen, but that's that's alright. Uh, I want to lose streak anyway. So... Um, interesting development, right? The, the meta is still very much being solved. And if you look at Dish Soap's profile, for example, he's rank 1 globally at the moment. Uh, and he's been rank 1 NA for a very long time before as well. Um, he's playing a lot of Fated, 7 Fated, FLEO 3 roll. And he's going first and second every single time. And, right, so like, you can just see how fast a new comp can overtake the quote-unquote um, meta comps early on in the life cycle of a set. So, um, yeah, I think we will see more and more developments. For now, my preferred playstyle actually revolves around pushing fast 9 if possible and um, going exalted, right? Because that is, at one, it's a very flexible playstyle. Two, it is usually a top 4 um, if you hit exalted early on enough. Early on, meaning in stage 2 ideally. Or early stage 3 even. Um, but, you know, like, I mean, especially here, like, I'm in Silver 1-2 at the moment. Um, you know, I've only played, like, six games this set so far in ranked. I don't have much time to play, unfortunately, but I, I do play every single day, try and make videos for you guys. And, and so, like, yeah, like, in this ELO, you get Giga Contested on your meta, meta comps, right? Like, everyone just wants to ape into playing Felios, Bard, whatever. Um, so... Having Exalted as actually very refreshing, in my opinion. Take this. I mean, I could make 20 here. Don't think I buy Kha'Zix 2, I'll be honest. I don't think I buy Kha'Zix 2. Play double Sivir for now. I'll sell this Kha'Zix. So yeah, so it's it's very good, generally speaking, to play comps that you know are not that contested. And the Exalted gives you that sort of in um, to every single game. Now, of course, you know, yeah, this doesn't work all the time. Like here, I have Janna, Zyra, Silas, right? Nar, Bard. Like Bard is gonna be contested, so I'm not gonna play Bard. It's a good loss. I could play Janna reroll. Zy with Zyra, you would generally play those two together, I think, in any case. So maybe that's something that we can go for this game. My items are not the best, but it's it's probably fine. I mean, we can make it work. No hassle. There's a Zoe. With a rod. I'll take that, thank you very much. Gives us Story Weaver. I could also just play Story Weaver reroll. Um, Zoe, right? Is your main comp uh, component there. I tried playing Zoe with Warden. It wasn't that good. Six Warden. Um, that was before Warden was nerfed, I think. Because in my head, she just needs time to scale up. But it's not really true. So, well, uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we get a Tristana. That does nothing for us, unfortunately. And you can either go the uh, AP... Or you can go Shred and Sunder. Both are pretty good, honestly, in my opinion. Um, I'm going to take this right now. Sell the Tristana. It does nothing for us. Uh, yeah, this way, Kale, uh, Grand Kale and adjacent allies in the same row. 20 ability power at the start of combat. And we might win this now, because we have Zoe. I don't, I, I'm not slamming items, because I still want to lose if possible. I want to get a 6 loss streak here. Uh, 
I, I am not getting the six loss streak, am I? That's okay. I mean, winning is also fine. The thing is, ever since the nerf to streaks, uh, you know, winning here is perfectly good. Granted, you can win next fight. Um, if you can't win next fight, then it's a little worse. Okay. I I have Story Weaver package here, quite a bit of them, right? So maybe we just go Story Weaver, and in that case, we just play Zoe. So pop this, look for a Rod or look for sh uh, Shoujin, yeah, tier, right? Tier's best here. This can become Giant Slayer. I yeah, It can even become something like Red Buff. This can just go on maybe Garen or some other tank. Uh, we can put this, I, mean, I don't wanna reroll Garen. Not unless we get uh, the Hero Augment for him. So let's just wait with these items for a little bit. This guy has Riven 2 and a Loon. Never gonna win this one. Just too strong. Riven 2 with a Gargoyles as well. Unlucky. I mean, I did my best. But even popping item here wouldn't do wouldn't make a difference, right? Okay, so if we played this, that means Garen, Severe, where's Severe? Where's she? There. Um, Riven. Zyra, probably, maybe. Um, Zoe. Galio. And Irelia, right? That's our comp. Seven Story Weaver, very simple. There's a Janna. And so we reroll these three units. Riven, Zyra, and Zoe. Zyra is uh, exalted, so we could play Janna. Uh, we could play um, Silas as well. It's just uh, too many units though, right? And the level 10 we can go for um, Rakan, I guess. I am not playing these units, nor am I playing this unit. I'm gonna level here because it doesn't cost me a gold. And Tom Kench does not do that much for me, but it can give me Bruiser instead of the Warden, which I think is fine, honestly. Don't think we really care about Warden that much. I can look for Rod or something. Oh, JG is also fine, probably. But I have a bow that I need to slam on someone. Shiv, do I do I go Shiv? I could go Shiv. Yeah, I go Shiv. Also, these two need to be swapped, probably. No, never mind. That's okay. I take Shiv here because I didn't take Shred and Honestly, Shib is just a decent enough item to slam. Let's go to Severe. She will get, grant more attack speed to Kale. There's another Exalted and a Trick Shot, right? So maybe we go for that. It's also a Bard that we can just pick up. Um, I mean, Unified Dress is not terrible. By any means. I don't think this is a good augment at the moment, so I'm not gonna take it. The bow thing, you have my bow. Combat caster. Just take unified, right? It's a decent enough augment here. Decent enough. I wanna level to play maybe the trick shot. If I get another story weaver, I'll play five story weaver, of course. This is decent enough. Um, I mean, I kind of want Riven too, right? I have so many pairs, but I'm gonna go f seven and then roll it a little bit. Try to find two stars at least, and then we can just chill until four, one, four, two. I think we win this. Zoe will just clap. Nice. Oh, Severe dealt 2.8k. That's decent enough. I know this is also a trick shot, but Kaisa is not a very good champion at the moment. Um, and this is Exalted, so. 
I'm not gonna take the boon because I'm. It would give me three items, but I need the slot. Okay, just play five story weaver. Scroll of haste is decent. Um, I think this is fine. I don't think we can play Exalted early on. I mean, I'm rerolling seven Story Weaver if possible, but also, I mean, on seven it's very unlikely that I find these guys, right? So maybe there is something we can do instead. Just play five Story Weaver until then. Or maybe we can get the Story Weaver emblem. That's also decent enough. I need Zoe 2 though to stabilize. This is the second Driven 2 I see this game. Or maybe it's the same guy. I don't know. Can't remember. So you dual carry basically Kale and Zoe, right? These two units are pretty strong. Uh, I think I lose this actually. Ari will kill me here. Sad. Very sad. Okay, go for Zoe item or go for frontline item. Both are okay. There's a four cost rod, I'm just gonna take that, right? I mean, that's yeah. just too good not to take here, I think. Okay, I think we can go seven here, maybe, and roll it a little bit. Just find two start Riven, I guess, at this point. Mm. I don't know, maybe we just four one it because we lost this fight. It's fine to four one it. That's a lease in. Power of the dragon. I have three dragon lord as well. I could still play Janna reroll, man. Very much so from this spot, right? Oh, there was a sage unit. I shouldn't have sold her. Let's keep these on bench. I have 70 gold. Let's keep these on bench. If I find Janna too, I might just go Janna reroll, honestly. She's exalted. I play her with Zyra, we play play three story weaver probably. Oh, we'll see. This guy is also going Zoe anyways, so. Might be better to just play Janna from this spot, honestly. He has uh, exalted as well in. Zoe ult, nice. Is that enough? It is enough. Good job. And he has Story Weaver Crest, so maybe we pivot to Janna. I think that's probably better. So Janna, Zyra, Silas. Just play these. Play around these. Okay. I mean, if you give me that, you just give me that. Right. We'll see. Let's, let's wait for the Augment then. I think that's the next best option here. Don't play this. I'm just going to level... And play Sage for now. I mean, yeah, I sh probably should not have leveled if I wanted to play Janna, but maybe level 7 we can still roll for her. It's okay-ish, I guess. I will want items on my Galio, of course. Yeah, so this guy is playing Fated. It's just insanely strong at the moment. Also ghostly. Janna. Okay, I think we're playing Janna, no? Like it seems to me we're playing Janna. I have three. Like I'm contested on Zoe. Oh. Clear this then. Oh, there's a silence. Not playing this. Okay, so we drop. I think we play four bruiser probably. So drop this. 
We got an Orn item as well. That's decent. Okay, that's gonna have to be Eternal Winter, I think, because I need Frontline. Um, just take this. And... I mean, I want JG or something on her. Or Archangels, for that matter. So I just take this. Nice. We're winning. Okay. Good stuff. We get the Exalted as well. I have 83 gold. I mean, I could just go... I could just go fast 9. Reinforcement. Capricious Forge. I don't think it's... Capri I mean, Capricious Forge could give us a very good item on Silas. I don't think we take this. Bruiser Crest is decent, though. Gives us 4 Bruiser immediately. Just Bruiser Diana. We can keep this team. Don't need the Aatrox. Okay, I mean... Can I play her? I can drop Sage, but that's not that good. Mm, how do we do this now? I'm like, I kind of want to go on level 9. Just fast 9. No, I think I'm rolling for Janna, man. I'm just not playing this, right? Just play this comp, it's fine. It's decent enough, I'm gonna roll. Okay, snapshot my team, confirm, that's what we wanna play. I think we win this fight, nice. Okay, we're at 50. Oh, maybe we are not winning this fight. Oh, very close, man. Very, very close. I need a third item on the Janna, of course. We do get... Don't need this. Okay. The problem is that we didn't hit Janna at all. Is someone playing Janna? I don't think so, right? Doesn't look like it. Just got a bit unlucky. We move Zyra there now, because she benefits from Kale's AP. Two starting these two would be significant as well. Um, I think this goes on this guy, and this goes on her in any case. I feel like I want Archangel and not JG. I know I have Rabadons, but she just wants AP. She can crit on on the damage, but she cannot crit on the shield, so I feel like... I feel like AP is better on her than crit, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's check, actually. Tactics.tools. Stats. Explorer. Janna. Three item. Three starred. Items. Uh, Emerald Plus is fine for now. Morello Blue Buff. Adapted. Oh, wait. I need to actually pay attention. I kind of want that Sunfire uh, and Silas 2 with it, right? Ideally. I think I just take that here. It's perfectly fine. Adaptive, Archangel, Rabadon, Static Shiv, Nasher, Red Buff. Yeah, JG is terrible on her. Archangel is very good on her. So, I could also just play Morello. Morello is even, like, that's her best item, basically, interestingly enough. But I think that's, yeah, that's maybe just a sample size. No, I want Archangel for sure. Archangel is way better. Okay. Let me just stay level 7 and try to 3-star a comp. I should also just do this, by the way. Forgot to do that. Um... So we'll try to 3-star. I mean, we are not in a very good position. We have to get pretty lucky here, I think. But we're 56 HP, so we're probably fine. 
we'll see what we get at chickens. We have component buffet, right? So we can choose items actually, which is pretty good. A decent chance that we hit a tier. All right, yeah. This is looking good. Hopefully we can get a Dragon Lord emblem as well, and then we can just go five Dragon Lord. But I still only have four Janas, which is just not it. Give me three rerolls, please. Encounter. Haha, <laughs> yes. Okay. Four. Four free rerolls. That's pretty good. Okay. Okay. Um, I can play this. Do I just go level 8 now? So Leasing 2 is probably better. Diana 2 is probably... I mean, Bruiser or Khan just sounds very good, but I'd lose Sage is my problem, and Sage is actually quite good. So maybe it's just a level 8 angle then. And reroll for Diana or something? I don't know. The problem is I kind of want... Okay, we can just play Rakan again. <laughs> That's not even bad. Just don't play Jan, I'll play Rakan. Because the problem is I don't have that many Janas. I can yeah, I can go level eight, play Rakan. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh nice. That ult was so big from Janna there. And this guy is just out. If I had six Janas, I would still roll for Jan. Okay. We're rolling for Jenna. <laughs> that was, oh man, that was insane. Uh, so funny. We can play Rakan and then this girl on nine, I guess, but I'm not gonna buy her yet. Okay. This is fine. Gives us angle into TG. What do we get? Lissandra, not interested. Okay, we just go this, I guess. And then take this. And no tier. No tier, my friends. I'm just gonna double Rabadon it up, I think. Like, I don't have a better option here. Okay, two more Janas. We can maybe roll it now um, until 30, because it's only 28 now to level. And I level, I just play Rakan immediately. I really want Galio too, man. Would be such a big spike here. I lose this fight, of course. I mean, it's a 7 fated Atalios reroll. Can't win this. It's just too strong. That's okay. Um, I can also just wait a little bit longer until I roll it to 30. Lee don't really care. Okay, now I'm not playing this. So, uh, now I'm just rolling to 30 for sure. There is the Janna. I can level now. Play Rakan. And there you go. We have 10 gold still. I mean, we are close to Diana 3 as well. Zyra 3, probably not happening, but maybe. For Dragon Lord again, I see like I played Dragon Lord every single game it seems, and I think it's actually working pretty well. Now we just need a Galio 2 here. I can either go 9 and play Morgana, or I can just roll on 8 for Galio 2 and Diana 3, which I think is better probably. I'm just gonna keep collecting Zalted. Yeah, see, so like everyone who's playing the Giga Contested comps are just going dead last, and except for this guy. There's always one guy who hits, and then the rest just dies, right? That's how it usually is. We're gonna chill until 6-1. I think we're stable enough, probably, um, at the moment. Hoping for a Dragon Lord Crest. 
I give more attack speed to the whole team. 45% is a big jump from 18, right? Plus the damage that will be dealt from the actual effect is gonna be, you know, significantly higher, 50% higher. Because it goes from 12 to 18%. Next, I think we itemize Silas. So that we just have like a very, very beefy four bruiser tank, tank front line here. And we will be fine. I mean, unless someone can kill my backline. Holy shit, this Janna is actually doing work, man. Kind of down to sell Zyra. I don't think... I mean, we can hit Zyra 3. But it's just not... She's okay. Eh, fine, I guess. No Dragon Lord emblem. Just go for a Silas item. Can I play Mythic? No. Um, these are both fine. I'll take this, I think. Silas is an AP unit, so he benefits more from the AP on Adaptive Helm, right? Um, wish that was a Rakan, but it's okay. We can also look for the Invoker in, I guess. That's fine for next level. So it's either Sage or Invoker. More uh, Omnivamp, more AP versus the f mana, right, on all the champs. But for now, I think I'm just going level it. Like, I'm just rerolling level 8 still. Maybe we itemize Diana as well. And that's our comp. Three tanks plus Janna as the carry. <laughs> Sounds weird, I know. Uh, also, this guy has backline access to me, so that's not very good. Okay, the taunt goes off. I need Galio 2 now. Like, it's I can't play the game without Galio 2. But the items on him are very, very good. Okay, I beat Tioni 3. That's insane. And we keep getting the XP from the Exalted as well. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent comp, right? Janna. I'm top three already. Nice. I hope I'm recording. Okay, useless encounter. It is what it is. So let's see what we can do here. I mean, I beat this guy every single day or every single time. I mean, he's going level nine, so, you know. But this guy is going to be tough. Five Fated at the moment. If there's a Fated Emblem on next carousel, I'll have to take it. Off. No, please. No, 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 no. I could also look for Lee Sin 3, maybe. Nobody plays Lee Sin. It's not a very good unit, to be fair. But I'm level 8, and you, you're you supposed to hit 3-star um, forecast on level 9 more so than level 8. I mean, it's 22%. It's not terrible. Uh, I don't want to pay 5 gold for the Lee Sin, though. Because if I buy him, I won't be able to make 40. I'm playing against the Ghost, which is great. Um, Galio 2 will also be significant here. And then, yeah, like Diana 3, right? If you get items on her, I think she will be also very significant. Am I losing to the Ghost? That's insanity. I'm not, but I almost lost, right? Pretty close. It's not that close. That's pretty close. There is the Galio. Nice. Okay, so maybe we just go 9 and say Freak Zyra and we can hit Diana on 9. 60 gold. Because now I don't, like, I don't want to roll just for Diana. I just, that doesn't make sense. So level 9 I can roll for Rakan too. When can I go 9 though? 6-2. It's a little bit off. It's way too late. I won't have that much gold, right? Is a way not needed. These two are not needed. Oh, there's another Galio. Udyr. Udyr not needed. Third item onto Silas, I think, at this point. Protector's Vow seems decent enough. Giga Frontline, as I said. Yeah, I'll just level next turn. I think I win this fight. I mean, this guy has nothing, right? Level 10, that's it. I mean, has 50 gold, so he's rolling. Uh, but he's dizzy. He plays... 
yeah. I'm not gonna... Like, if I can beat him, I can beat him this turn. I'm not gonna be able to beat him next turn, I don't think. Oh, uh, the freaking girl and the stun. Okay, but we're doing fine, man. I, ca I can also play Umbral for my Silas, I guess. Okay, come on, Kale. Just live a little bit longer. Uh, I don't think... Oh, maybe. Maybe it's enough. Yes, nice. Okay, that was very close. But uh, yeah, then again, next turn I won't be able to beat this guy with my current team. So I'll have to level here. Play Morgana, I guess. Morgana 2 would be decent, right? I can also maybe look for 10. I probably don't, right? I can't, I can't. There's no way. Because I can't beat anyone else, pretty much. I have to move my Janna out of the Udyr's way here. Well, Galio will um, taunt him, but... Don't want to get cocked. Yeah. So we go Diana 3, and then we'll itemize her. Maybe we just... Do I itemize, though? Maybe I just itemize a Rakan, too, if I can get him, right? Because I need more damage on the board at this point, I feel like. Do I, though? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, Rakan 2 would be significant here, right? We're doing pretty well. Janna reroll. Initiated. Okay. <laughs> Lee Sin 3. Is this the Lee Sin 3 dream? We can chill a little bit. I mean, this guy will beat me, so I can't really chill that much. Uh, the Zyra. Rakan. Should probably put him in there. Okay. I mean... It's not a least in dream ever. Okay, I think we just itemize Rakan. I'm actually kind of down to even swap out Diana here. Um, give Rakan the Bruiser Emblem. Don't need to do that yet, though. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna do that. Because Diana three still is significant in my opinion. This guy's very strong, right? It's the ghost that I'm fighting here, so. Yeah. Dragon Lord Emblem. It's just a ghostly. Ghostly is fine. Can I get an item for Rakan otherwise? I mean, two ghostly does nothing, let's be real. I'm just gonna take JG. Or uh, this, because it's three gold. And a Archangel Staff. And I'm guaranteed to live until Herald, at least. Uh, not needed. Maybe we go Galio 3. That would be awesome. Okay, I don't need to roll just yet. I can lose some fights here. No problem. I can lose some fights here. This is good positioning. I should probably put one of them there. Thing is, I hit 3 star Ds, it's significant. Chances of hitting Galio very slim, but... You know, I have seen... We have seen me get very lucky with the Annie 3 previously. If you have not seen that video, go check it out, because it was actually a lot of fun. Getting Annie 3 for free, basically. I think we lose this now. Do we? No, my Rakan is still alive. My Janna is still alive. Actually winning this. Nice. Am I first? I think I won. Holy Jesus, what a game. I mean, Janna reroll, man. I, I'm telling you, you don't have to ape into the freaking metacoms. These things can work. I mean, Exalted was there, so that's one of the reasons why it was so good. But it was very good, right? Um, if you enjoyed that video, please leave a like and a comment for the algorithm. And consider subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.